Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another Shellcast in the Love Cup. We are taking a look at a really cool team. We do have Talonflame with both Goliath Slowbo and Goliath Slow King. So let's go ahead, just dive right into the commentary and see how these battles play out. Right now, this Goliath Slowbo will be going for the Sludge Bomb. Massive damage. They do go ahead and shield it. Dredagon, I'm not going to lie to you guys, has been giving me trouble in the Love Cup when I battle it. But at the same time, it also is squishy. So it's taking a lot from Poison Jab. For the Sludge Bomb will KO it if they don't shield. So it's doing a lot of damage, but it's also taking a lot of damage. And of course, if you have a Charm user, it does shut down Drudagon. Uh, so, okay, going to lose that matchup. In comes Talonflame. Talonflame maybe wants to farm down, but I, I don't know if it can because that, they're going to get to another attack. Uh, so if they go for the farm down, yeah, Talonflame will have to shield if they want to go ahead and successfully farm down this Dredagon, which is exactly what is going to happen. Actually, the switch into Goliath Slow King to farm it down. Uh, so very nice switch there, saving that energy on Talonflame. I like that play. Uh, so this is actually a confusion user. We're going to see an attack come in. Definitely going to be a Brave Bird, right? I mean, no, going to be a Flame Charge. Brave Bird would have KO'd, I think. Oh, they have two. Never mind. They have another attack ready to go. So this is definitely going to KO. Uh, so that is going to KO. And in comes Talonflame. Talonflame will go ahead and go for the Flame Charge. Uh, this doesn't KO though, right? Almost does one more incinerate. Able to get it through. Talonflame has a Flame Charge ready to go into the Slowbro right there. So it's going to connect, but unfortunately it's just not going to do enough. And that Goliath Slowbro will go ahead and finish off the game. So that's going to be well played. Unfortunately not able to win, but that's okay. Next up we have Talonflame into Octillery. Super spicy coming in from the opponent. Uh, so very cool there. It looks like the opponent, it looked like they lagged a little bit, but now they're going. Uh, this is Mudshot, not Lock On. Uh, so they're gonna switch into Clefable. Oh, that may have been a misclick by the opponent. Either that was a misclick or this is double charm because you definitely don't want to bring in a Clefable against a Galarian Slowbro. Uh, but that's totally fine. It, it happens. Uh, so Slowbro gonna go ahead and shield it, not wanting to give away all that energy. Makes a lot of sense. Octazooka picking up the debuff, which is nice. Uh, nice for the opponent, not nice for the, <laughs> the trainer with shoutcasting. We do see a shield there. Um, and trying to get to another one. We see some of that beautiful lag. You love to see it. Uh, so Sludge Bomb coming in from this Goliath Slowbro right now. Uh, gonna get the shield. So we're able to get both shields. So that's really huge. Uh, so we're gonna switch it right now into Slow King. Slow King wants to Confusion down. Just gonna go ahead and let this go. Uh, gonna be an Octazooka. That's fine. Unfortunately, the debuff, though, is not really fine. This is gonna be another Octazooka, which will not KO, but it does get the Slow King low, and we do see a Crustal come in, and the Shadow Ball coming out from this Galarian Slow King. I have never battled or used a Galarian Slow King. I have Galarian Slow Bro. So cool to see it right now. Uh, so we do see this Talonflame come in. Now, of course, Talonflame goes down really fast to Smackdown, but it does have energy, so it's going to be able to KO this Crustal. Just has to safely shield this, and that Incinerate will KO. Just going to be an X scissor. That wouldn't do much, but uh, you don't want to risk the Rock Slide or anything. The opponent will concede that. So yeah, that's going to be a great game. So well played to both trainers there. Let's move on to the next battle. Talonflame into Vileplume. Absolutely incredible. They do switch into Electrode. Uh, so we're going to see a switch right now into Slowbro. Okay. So the shield is coming out. Foul play will be doing a lot of damage. They go for discharge. That would be doing a lot as well, though. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and safely shield that. The Glorian Slopo will go ahead and go for the Sludge Bomb right now. Um, and it looks like the Electrode will go for an attack. And let's see what they decide to go for. They're going to go ahead and go for the discharge. Okay, doing a lot of damage, but not enough to KO. But they do go ahead and farm down. Uh, so Slow King coming in. Slow King definitely wants the Confusion down, but it's going to go ahead and take this attack. So Discharge, that's fine. Going to be able to farm that down. Uh, so in comes Vileplume. Vileplume taking a lot of damage. Now, the thing is, Slow King and Slowbro, the Galarian versions, are not water types like the original versions. And I'll be honest with you, I actually got that mixed up as I was battling. I see a Galarian Slowbro come in. I'm thinking water type. I'm thinking, let's go Electrode. And... Uh, you know, it's not additional super effective damage. Electro still has play there, but it's not additional super effective damage. 
uh, like it would be with Volt Switch against the original versions, right? But either way, let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We do, do see a switch into the Slowbro. Uh, they're going to switch into Electrode. So again, Electrode still does well here because Foul Play is super effective. Uh, so And the Volt Switches are still adding up, right? So Electrode still should be able to win this matchup if they commit Shields. Um... Um, we'll see, we'll see. I could be wrong. Let's see. Slowbro is going to go ahead and go for this Sludge Bomb, and that will get the shield. So Electrode will go for an attack. Yeah, even if the Slowbro is shielded, yeah, the Electrode should be able to get to another attack and KO. Uh, so we're going to see this Slow King come in. Slow King is definitely going to Confusion down, but will it shield this? It will go ahead and shield it. Uh, so Slow King, it's going to be a Discharge. Uh, okay, that looked like it was super effective. It shouldn't be super effective, right? Discharge? Against a poison and a psychic type? This is not a water type, right? I'm not incorrect about that. Uh, it looked like it was super effective, but I, I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, Talonflame is coming in to fight the opposing Talonflame. Like, we saw the shield light up red. That means it's super effective, right? Like, I'm not crazy. That's what it looked like. I don't know. But either way, that's okay. Talonflame will go ahead and go for the Brave Bird. And that will KO the opposing Talonflame. And in comes this Metachan. And Slow King definitely going to have a good time here. I mean, do they have Psychic ready to go? Let's see if they got to the Psychic. They did. Going to be doing a lot, but not enough to KO. Oh my gosh, they both go down at the same time. I thought the Slow King was going to be able to win that one. But unfortunately not able to. But hey, at the end of the day... Uh, that's totally fine. Still, a tie is better than a loss. So this is not a good matchup. From what I've learned, Brave Bird does like 50% um, to a Mikago, which is crazy. But still not a good matchup you want to be in. So this Slowbro is coming in to fight the Mikago. Uh, still really not a, the greatest matchup. But if you can land the Focus Blast, let's see. Let's see if they decide to shield this or if they don't want to shield it. Uh, they do shield it, so that would have KO'd for sure. So nice play by the opponent to shield that. Uh, so Mikago is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. It's going to be the Rock Tomb. That's fine. That's going to KO. Um, and in comes Slow King. Slow King... No, it's not going to... Is it going to Confusion down? Uh, we're going to see a shield right now. This is going to be a Rock Tomb, so a little bit unfortunate. No, I don't think... Slow King cannot farm down. Um, yeah, yeah, they're not going to be able to farm down. Rock Tomb shouldn't KO, but o Overheat will. Uh, they're just going for the Rock Tomb. So that's fine. That still does a lot of damage. It almost KOs. They got another incinerate through. Out comes Clefable. Uh, but we're going to see this Shadow Ball come out. Doing a decent amount of damage. The switch into Talonflame. Out comes Electrode. Not good. Not good. Uh, so the Electrode will get off an attack. Discharge will be enough to KO the Talonflame at this health. No doubt about it. Uh, and then the Slow King comes in. Slow King is going to go ahead and go down. So well played. Unfortunately, not going to win that. But that's totally cool. Let's move on to the next one. Talonflame into Meta Cham. Okay, they do go ahead and pull the switch into a Loma Mola. Uh, so out comes Goliath and Slowbro. Uh, so this is fine. Uh, just going to go ahead and yeah, shield this one. You don't want to be hit with a Psychic. Even though it's neutral, you still don't want to be hit by it. Uh, so we're going to see an Overfarm going for the Sludge Bomb. And this Sludge Bomb will... It's not going to KO, but it will do a lot. We do see a shield right there. And we're going to see another attack come in from this Galarian Slowbro. So this is going to get the shield. Okay, able to get both shields. Can they waterfall down? I think they can. Uh, yeah, barely able to waterfall down. Uh, so now out comes Slow King. Slow King probably looking to Confusion down. But I don't think a Loma Mola can get to two attacks, so I don't think they'll be able to get to another Psychic. But they actually pull the switch into Ariados. Okay. Okay, very interesting. Just because Slow King does have uh, Confusion, but maybe you're not familiar with the moveset. I certainly wouldn't be. And that still does a lot, right? So, uh, in comes Talonflame. So Talonflame definitely going to incinerate all the way down. Um, and I, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't really want your Ariados up against Talonflame. It's worse against Talonflame than it is against the Confusion user, right? Uh, because at least against Slow King, it's doing good damage with Lunge, right? Uh, so Metachem is coming in. This Brave Bird's going to KO. Uh, so we're going to see the Brave Bird. No, it's not. Never mind. Um, so we're going to see another Brave Bird. Just going to go ahead and go for another one. I uh, could have went for the Flame Charge, but just going to go ahead and go for the Brave Bird to KO. Uh, and in comes the Aloma Mola. 
and the Aloma Mola will fund down, and the Shadow Bolt is ready to go on this Goliath Slow King, and this is going to KO the Aloma Mola, and that is going to be a great game, very well played to both trainers. Uh, yeah, really good game. Uh, so let's go ahead and move into the next battle. So it's going to be Talonflame into Ariados. You absolutely love this matchup, right? No doubt about it. In comes Electrode. Going to go ahead and switch into Golion. Slow Bro. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I think as as we talked about earlier, I think Electrode just wins this matchup, right? See, it looked like it was super effective. Like that was red. That shield was red. Is that another glitch or is it super effective? I don't think it is, right? It's uh, this chart should not be super effective against Slowbro. Um, against a Galarian one, at least. We're going to see an attack come in right now, and it's going to be the Hyper Beam. Oh my gosh, that is going to KO. So going to be that Hyper Beam. Wow, talk about getting beamed. Huge shout out to the opponent. Talonflame will incinerate down. The lag may have allowed the Talonflame to incinerate that, but in comes the Loma Mola. Going to be hit with this Spray Bird, doing a lot of damage, no doubt about it. Uh, not enough to KO for sure, but doing a lot. In comes Slow King, out comes Ariados. Okay, man, there's so much lag and glitches in this game. I mean, you can see the health bars. Like, it, it looks like they're at full health, and then all of a sudden they're at 50%. Or it looks like they're at, like, 20% 20, 20 health, and then all of a sudden they're at, like, 80%. Like, it's crazy. I mean, Niantic, come on, man. Come on. I love, I'm love. i a big supporter of your game. I love Pokemon and Pokemon Go. But come on. I mean, these glitches are just going on and on and on. Uh, so Slow King will go ahead and get to this Shadow Ball, and this is going, this should KO. Aloma Mola is very tanky, but it's still going to KO, and that is going to be a great game. That shield thing where it looks like it's super effective when it's really not, might be another glitch. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, let me know if you've experienced that, but yeah, Glorian Slowbro and Slow King should not be weak to Discharge, right? Uh, so either way, Talonflame into this Lickitung, going to go ahead and take this attack right now, going to be a Body Slam, going to be able to take that. Uh, so going straight for the Brave Bird, I don't think the Lickitung will shield, because they could take this anyway. Uh, it does a lot though, but yeah, they can take it. Uh, so, oh my gosh, Chansey. Chansey coming in. I have personally not battled a Chansey yet in, uh, the Love Cup. Let me know if you've battled it. I personally haven't seen one yet, but it's a great Pokemon. That folk, look how, look how easily it took that. I mean, I shouldn't say easily. Another one, I guess, KOs, but it took that Focus Plus... Pretty well for a normal type, right? So we're going to see another Focus Blast. Not even going to bait. Just going to go ahead and go straight for it. Uh, they do shield it. Makes sense to shield it, but uh, Slowbro does not want to uh, bait or anything. The Psychic coming in going to be neutral damage. Uh, so Slowbro is trying to get to another attack. They're going for the Focus Blast. You might be able to get away with going for Sludge Bomb. It might KO, but at the same time, it might not. So... Uh, Okay, yeah, you're going to have to go for the Sludge Bomb. Unfortunately, you cannot make Focus Blast. So, are going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Bomb. Let's see if it KOs. Uh, it does not actually KO, but they switch into Lickitung. Uh, so, out comes Talonflame. One more Incinerate. Oh, no, it looks like one more after that. So, two more. But the next one should connect. Uh, so, going to shield that Body Sim. Oh, no, three more Incinerates? Okay, wow. Lickitung, so bulky. Oh, my gosh. You love to see it, right? I mean, this whole team... Is really strong against Charm. It resists Charm, right? So absolutely, this whole team resists Charm. You have two poison types in the back, and you have a fire type. So in the lead, uh, so we're going to see a Brave Bird, and that's going to KO. Oh my gosh! And in comes Chansey and Galarian Sloking will be able to confusion down. Absolutely incredible, great game there. Let's go ahead and move into the final battle. Let's give it up for this trainer. Thank you so much for sharing your battle experiences with us. I really do appreciate it. They switch into Mikago right now. Uh, so we're going to see a switch into Slow King. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, not the best response to Mikago. I mean, this team really kind of struggles against it. Slow King, of course, with Confusion, going to be adding up for sure. Uh, but they could honestly, if they want, shield this and farm down, which is probably what they do. Um, so we're going to see the Shadow Ball come in. They are going to shield it. It makes sense. Uh, and they're going to be able to incinerate down the Slow King. And the Poison Jab's going to be resisted. Talonflame, of course, taking double super effective damage from the Rock Charge attacks. So we're going to see the Flame Charge. Uh, so they don't shield that. Uh, Talonflame is going to go ahead and shield this. And it's going to be a Stone Edge. So that definitely, obviously, would KO. Rock Tomb would KO as well. Pretty sure about that. We're going to see another Flame Charge. Will this be enough to KO because it's boosted? I don't know. Um, it does not KO, so yeah, I mean, you're pretty much going to have to shield this, unless if you want the Talonflame to go down. So we do see a shield. One more incinerate, will KO. 
So very nice. Getting a good amount of energy. In comes Electrode. Um, trying to get to it. Able to get to it. So that's good. Uh, the opponent probably shields this. Uh, yeah, they do shield it. And now we're going to switch into Galarian Slow Bro. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. If they have Foul Play, uh, they don't have Foul Play. So yeah, Discharge is neutral. Uh, so yeah, Discharge is neutral. It's not super effective. I'm not wrong. Uh, so Slow Bro is going to go ahead and go for this Sludge Bomb. Um, and okay, trying to get to another one. Desperately really wants to get to another one. Oh my gosh, you're able to get to it. Wow, they, they were definitely going for Psychic because Power Punch would not KO if they have it. Um, so Metacham will go down and they're going to farm down, which is not great to be honest. Um, yeah, Talonflame is actually going to go down here, right? Um, and that will be it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.